Hey everyone, welcome back and thanks for joining me today. Um, before I get started, I wanted to show you guys um, the rainbow pour. It is almost dry. I think the only two wet spots left are inside the blue circle and the green circle. Otherwise, the rest of it is fully dry. So I'm really happy. I love the gold. It is so cool. And the silver has quite the shimmer to it as well. So I'm very happy you can see. See how it's still a little wet in the blue there? But other than that, it's dry. So I'm just going to wait for that to dry and put the uh, two coats of the Liquitex varnish on top. So this piece is um, currently available. So if anyone is interested, you can email me at uh, canalaseraco at gmail.com. And you can, uh, if there's any other pieces you see, you can uh, let me know as well. If you happen to catch my live um, video on Sunday afternoon, you would have seen that I um, showed you guys a bunch of prints and canisters and trinket boxes that are currently available for purchase. So if you did miss that and the calendar as well, go back and check out the live video uh, and you will see there everything that I have currently available for purchase. Okay, so today I am going to work on what seems like a really small canvas compared to the big ones I've been working on lately. This thing looks teeny tiny. Um, it's a 10 by 20 inch. I've taped the, the bottom or the back. I've got my large push pins in there. Okay, and so tonight, or today, because it's only afternoon, I went out to Michael's and I bit the bullet and I bought golden paints okay now i only bought three because goodness these things are expensive even with the michael's coupons okay i still like i mean these are like 25 bucks especially the quinacridone um quinacridone magenta holy smokes it's like 25 bucks for this little bottle and i you know mixed it here in my squeeze bottle and like, I mean, that's all I have left. So that's crazy. But uh, I picked three colors. I picked the Quinacridone Magenta. Okay. And then I picked Teal. This is a beautiful color. I cannot wait to see this. And I picked Dioxazine Purple. Alrighty. So those are the three colors. And here they are here in the squeeze bottles. All right. If you're interested in learning how I mix my paints with my Floetrol and water, um, check out video number 63. I will link it here at the top. That is how I mix my paints. Now, I've never used Golden. They are a level three paint, so they're much um, richer with pigments, unlike the Artist Loft, which is a level one, or the Liquitex Basics, which is a level one. So we will see how this works out. Um, and of course, my contrasting color that I'm going to be using is the Deco Art 24 karat gold. So I am going to put you guys on hold while I flood my canvas and I'll be right back, okay? All right, guys, I'm back. So I've gone ahead and flooded my canvas with my white Artist Loft acrylic flow white with Floetrol and water. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop the bubbles real quick. Alrighty, so if anyone is looking to purchase a torch or a new torch or a very cool torch, you can check out this torch um, and you can save 10% off on Amazon for uh, US residents only. Unfortunately, I am sorry. Okay, so um, what color, what order shall I put these in today? I think I'm gonna go with the Quinacridone Magenta, then the Gold, then the Dioxazine Purple, and then the Teal. And now the question is, I didn't even really think about this until just now, 
what design am I going to do with this? So I've done the across, I've done the diagonal, I've done my circles, um, I've done my V's. Um, you know what? What if I just do a squiggly line across here and one across here? I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start from this corner and work my way here, and then I'm gonna start from this corner and work my way down, and then just have two lines. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, let's try that. Let's do something different. Like, I mean, this is just a small um, 10 by 20 inch canvas. So let's see how this works out. I think it'll look all right. All right, there's the magenta. Now let's do the 24 karat gold. So a quick thank you to um, Stella and uh, Chic Unique Designs for your PayPal donations. Um, that is very, very um, lovely and I really, really appreciate it very much, guys, more than you know. Um, so thank you very much, you guys, for your donations. If anyone else would like to donate to my channel, you can do so using the PayPal link in the description below and you can find that below. Yeah. So thank you to everyone else who has donated to my channel. Um, it really helps me buy supplies and paints so that I can try like these new golden paints um, just to try things out and see how they work out. Okay, so this looks interesting. Let's just pop the bubbles real quick. The uh, gold and the magenta are looking really nice here. This is gonna be interesting. So the other interesting question is, I think I'm gonna blow out this way and then this way and then work on the inside. So I think I'm gonna do that, let's see. Well, there's a first for everything, you guys. I cannot believe, uh, how, how many years have I been doing this? A year and a half? How many paintings have I done in my lifetime that you guys have witnessed and watched? How many? Like, I'm up to what, 170 something videos? And never has this ever, ever happened where the tip of my blow dryer has fallen off. I can't believe this. Oh my goodness. I guess it's been due time that I fixed this and I didn't. So serves me right. Oh my gosh, that totally fell in there. Anywho, while I'm looking at this painting, it's looking pretty good. I just got to finish it off now. Holy smokes. I cannot believe. <laughs> Of course, it's just my rotten luck, right? I've just been having a really rough week, you know, with my life lately, with everything going on with me. So, all right, let's put that back on. We're good now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna continue blowing this to fix it. So let's get back to that. Oi, oi, oi. Okay. So, uh, let me tell you what I like and what I don't like. I am loving the purple and the magenta and the gold. What I'm not liking is the teal. I love the color, but what I don't like is how it's left really solid um, teal lines in there. Um, it hasn't blended with anything and that I don't like But boy oh boy the colors are amazing. So let me see if I can fix this. It's okay over here But this I don't like mm. 
Okay, so I've blown the purple over to them onto the teal and it's actually celled up. So that looks pretty. Okay. Okay, so that has spread that out a bit. Let's see what's going on down here. Okay, I'm not, I'm not happy. And you know what happens when I'm not happy. See, and it's a good thing this is all, see, out comes Mr. Scraper. Um, I'm just not impressed with the um, teal. Although I'm loving the Quanacridome magenta. But I'm not liking the rest of this. I think it's a big hot mess. And you know what? I know there's, you know, you some of you guys are watching right now and you're loving it. But I'm just not loving it at all. So, I wonder if I can salvage this instead of scraping the whole thing off. I don't know. I think I just scraped the whole thing off. Oh my God, you guys are gonna kill me, seriously say bye-bye I can't I just I can't it's gotta go I don't like it and if I don't like it I can't be happy with it okay so that is gone and when you scrape something you must 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 I cannot stress enough you must clean off the sides okay um, get a paper towel and get that paint off the sides because if you don't it will come out and show through on um, your next pour when you pour again oh my gosh I know guys total waste of paint complete waste of paint okay I am going to reflood the canvas and we'll start again so I'll be right back okay guys I am back and I actually got rid of the plastic cloth that I had there was just way too much paint on there and I did not want to leave that sitting there um, for days so um, I got rid of it okay so man I say okay and so so many times I'm sorry uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna try this again although I'm going to I believe I'm gonna take out the teal as beautiful as a color as it is i'm going to try that in a different pour with maybe some different colors i don't know maybe i'll throw it in but i'm going to go back to the to the dioxazine purple the gold and the quinacridone magenta but i'm going to add a new color so this is a new color um if you've seen my 24 karat gold by deco art i've also now got it in silver i have it in bronze but now I went out and bought it in deep sapphire and it is gorgeous. But I also bought um, another one too, I'll show you. I'm not gonna use it today, but it's called Berry. And this is a beautiful color as well. So it, like, I mean, this stuff comes in so many colors. I want them all. Um, they're a little pricey, but um, I was able to fill one of my uh, low leave Effie bottles and so I'll try that. So I'm gonna try those colors and I'm gonna keep the uh, teal out for now. So let's try this again and hope for success because I don't wanna waste any more paint. <laughs> and I don't know if I liked, I think this canvas is too small for the two lines. I don't think that worked out very well. So I'm gonna stick to one line and, um, but I'm gonna make it really, squiggly at like you know and we'll just go from there so i'm gonna kind of go up and down and up just just to mix it up 
but keep it all in one line squiggly line but one line and I hope this one works out better because I hate wasting paint but you know what you got to do it sometimes it's not always going to be perfect it's not always going to work on your first shot it just isn't so you got to work at it and try again and practice practice makes perfect right guys all right this blue looks awesome so this just gonna squirt some out because there was some flow troll at the top all right looks like a nice blue color okay let's try this let's uh torch the colors here i'm wondering if i should add a little bit more of the magenta uh, i don't want to add too much okay let's just leave it i'll move all these out of the way let me make sure this thing is stuck on nice and tight <laughs> okay let's try this again all right uh let's see which way shall i blow is the question all right It is so much harder to blow on a smaller canvas than a big one. Look, I didn't even blow this part. Let me blow that with my mouth. But it sure left quite the beautiful pattern there. Ooh. I like that. That's cool. okay the cells on here like are amazing there's i'll show you a major cluster of cells here here and here and it and here and it looks awesome so i can tell there's a lot of white paint pooling right here so i need to try and get rid of that Okay. I like that. That looks good. And I think there's a lot of white paint here as well. I can totally see it pooling there. So I'm going to try and get rid of that as well. If I don't, then it's going to just crack. I've never had a painting crack on me ever, but... I've, I don't usually typically leave that much pooling there in the center. That's much better. And like I said in one of my previous videos, you could always use your finger to guide the paint. Just lightly skim your finger over the top and you can actually guide the paint the way you want it to go. Wow, this actually looks really neat. I'm going to torch right here because there's a, it's like one of my petals when I, I can see there's definitely paint hidden under there and over here oh yeah did you see that that's really neat but i'm not going to torch anywhere else because i actually really love it and um this blue the sapphire blue you'll see when i bring you down there's a nice thick color of it right here and it looks awesome okay i'm so happy with this i'm so happy that i stuck to my gut 
and I, to you know, just totally swiped off the previous pour because this one turned out so much better. So I'm going to bring you guys down for a close up and show you guys what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, guys, check this out. I am so happy that, oh my God, look at the face, eyeball, nose, and his mouth. And he's like, oh, it's like he's going, oh, look at that. There's a face right there. That is so neat. So here, check that out. So here's the, uh, you see the little shimmer there of the gold? And look at the blue. It's so, I can't even stop looking at that face. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. And look at the sides. The sides look really nice. I am going to fix this though, because I don't like that. I'm just going to dab my finger in there and just kind of touch that part up. But uh, look at this. I am loving this. I'm really excited. I'm so glad I totally wiped the other one down. And actually, when I, you know, put you guys on pause, what I did was I blew over here just to make some negative white space because it was all color. And because there's some negative space here and some here, so I kind of wanted it to match on that side as well. So I did blow it. Just, I literally blew it. I didn't add anything to it. I just blew. But look at this. That is, and look at the shimmer. Look at the gold shimmer. I love it. I'm so happy with this now. I was really bummed with the first attempt, um, but I'm loving this. And look at the sides. That is stunning. I'm so, so, so happy with this. I'm loving it. Well, there it is, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I'm really liking the way I did the squiggly design. Like it's a totally different pattern, something different for me. I've never done anything like this before. So I'm pretty cool. And my little guy, my little buddy says, buy me, buy me. <laughs> Anywho, check out all my social media links below guys uh, in the description below. Check out my Amazon shop. You can buy anything you need off Amazon. It doesn't have to be art supplies. If you click on my link, and just do your regular Amazon shopping. That really, really helps me out. So please click on the links below, whether you're in the US or Canada, I have two separate links and PayPal for anyone who'd like to donate. So that's it. And if anyone's interested in this piece, you know what to do, email me and be one of the first to get dibs on it um, before it sells out. So. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out my previous live video where you can see everything that I have currently up for sale that's not on Etsy, okay? That's it for now. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.